me. Hello. Okay. Hi, guys. <laughs> it's Raven. Um, I'm a little under the weather, but um, getting better. You know, how how has this new year been for you guys? I was all like gung ho because the last quarter of um. The last six months of 2018 was so good for me and like 2019 comes and it's like, I hit a fucking wall. Oh, really, asshole? Sorry, these fucking people. Nobody knows how to drive but me. Anyway, um, so I wanted to do a quick video. Um, on, I, um, I had a, a party. I get together. Um, I'm really enjoying the get togethers for the Sabbaths and um, as I've encouraged you guys in other videos, if you have nothing to do, host a little get together. It doesn't have to be 20 people. It could be like three, three people. Um, but it's really nice to have something to do for a Sabbath. It, it sucks to be alone for Sabbaths. I mean, some of you might enjoy doing private things, but Sometimes I, I want to be with a group and celebrate. So what I did is um, I had some girls over. It was eight of us total. wasn't huge. Um, we did a brunch, which was really nice. And it turned out that the weather was so crappy here in Vegas that we had to do ritual inside, which ended up being great. Because I actually put seats in the circle, chairs, so people could sit down and, and listen and relax. I did um, the background on In Bulk, everything it represents, uh, which I can go over in this video really quick. Um, we, In Bulk represents to me um, new beginnings, and this is the time of year that I like to plant the seeds for what I want this year. So, um, I'm hoping you guys do the same thing every year. You have to have goals, guys, every year or you are going to live a very blase, mundane life. You have to reach for your goals. What, what does your perfect life look like to you? Um, and once you see that perfect life in your mind, then what are the steps to get there? And take those steps. I'll tell you what, I started doing this, I don't know, probably now five six years ago and it works guys it, it works so um in bulk is is that time setting setting yourself for success for the year so um oh my god the traffic sucks so we did our um our ritual we planted and and everybody brought food i always make sure people bring food i didn't i made one thing and that was um homemade bread that was four ingredients um, in a um, Dutch oven. It was three cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of yeast, and a one teaspoon of salt, and one and a half cups of hot water. It can't be above 130 degrees, I think, or you kill the yeast. Anyway, you only let it sit for like three to four hours and then you bake it in your Dutch oven and oh my God, it came out so good. It came out so good. So literally like people think, oh, I hate to have parties because I have to, it costs too much money. No, you have everybody bring something. So that's the only thing I made. And then I, of course I had coffee, tea, water, um, orange juice and mimosas. Um, so yeah. So, um. Yeah, so it was a ton of fun, and then we did crafts. We talked about the holiday itself, what it represented, um, with uh, St. Bridget, Brigitte, whatever you want to call her. Um, and the crafts we did, number one, is we planted actual seeds. So I had you guys, they had a choice of lavender, sage, um, basil, and something else that I can't think of. Lavender sage. Anyway, um, we made uh, the Bridget's cross, and we also made Bridget dolls. This is the first time I've ever made that stuff. They were so easy, guys. If you watch YouTube, 
Oh my God, seriously. Watch YouTube, you can learn anything on YouTube. It was so easy and it was so much fun. I went to Michael's and I bought um, all the stuff that I needed. It probably cost, I shouldn't have spent that much on all this stuff and honestly, we really only needed to make like one craft. But I, I like going overboard and I love doing crafts. So anyway, um, we did those two things in, um, And we make candles so it turns out that if you have soy wax you cannot do the dipping candles learn something new every day um, so instead I added a little bit of color and ended up making these beautiful um, glass jar candles that they came out great added some herbs I had all my herbs out and people could pick what herbs they wanted to incorporate once the um, candle wax started settling down and mix those in so it, it didn't just float to the top or float to the bottom. Once it started to get a little bit hard, um, we added the herbs and um, they came out beautiful. So just another good idea for in bulk. Um, if you wanna know what in bulk is quickly, it's um, February 1st and 2nd. Um, it's between Yule, the winter solstice, and the spring. So it's that in between point. And back in the day, they would children would make Bridget dolls to represent Saint Bridget. Saint Bridget is is a badass uh, goddess, guys. She is a, a triple goddess. I think I have to get off. Um, and um. are not telling me right now to get off here so anyway um she's a triple goddess and she is a goddess of the hearth of family of fertility of blacksmithing and poetry i mean she's one badass so if you guys are curious about what um type of goddess to follow she's one to look up and check out she's she's definitely 